Hello, this is Mr. Cox with Supercharged and Intercooled Science. I'm going to use a Blackboard app today to show you what I'm talking about. There's been some new developments in the world of cosmology and astronomy. Uh, I'm using a Whiteboard app, and a, or actually a Blackboard app. These are uh, apps you can get for free, one's called whiteboard, one's called blackboard. I'm using the blackboard option. So you might want to try this yourself. Um, you come free with ads, but you can choose your color of the background, and you can choose your color of the pen or what you, whatever you're wanting to use. You can choose the size. I'm going to go with that size to start here. So we have something called the uh, Hubble Telescope. It's been out here in orbit for a while. Let's just say this is the Hubble Telescope. From where we're at, this is our local group of, ga group of galaxies. The Hubble Telescope was able to see much deeper into space. So they expected to see closer to the edge of space. They didn't expect to actually see the edge of space or past it because they believe with the Big Bang Theory that the, the universe is expanding faster than the speed of light. So you never see the edge. So the Hubble telescope, when it pointed, they pointed it at a what appeared to be an empty area of space where they couldn't see anything with the naked eye. And they found something called the Hubble Deep Field. Billions of galaxies. So, so far away. So many light years away. And they, uh, according to the Big Bang Theory, they felt that you were looking back into time. And so this should be closer to the beginning of the universe from where the Big Bang occurred. But they couldn't see past it. So they were surprised to find all these galaxies out there. But they thought, just pass that away. This is actual Big Bang. And, it, you know, everything will be okay. So I'm not here to knock the Big Bang. I'm not here to, to say it's wrong or it's right or against it. This is just one of the, the major theories of science that's been out there for a while. And uh, science develops as we go along. Just like we used to think that the Earth was the center of the solar system and the universe. And the planets, the sun went around us. We found that wasn't true. There's been many different theories of science that have either had to change or be thrown out. And bring in new theories as we go. So in the meantime, recently, they put something called the James Webb Telescope into space. Let me put this here. This is the Hubble Deep Field from what it saw. Billions of galaxies. Now, the James Webb Telescope has brought back some startling images. It looks even much deeper into space, and they thought they would see nothing but the very formations of the earliest stars before they formed into galaxies or anything like that. And if what they actually found was a bunch more galaxies, as far away as they can look. And what's really weird about this is these galaxies are fully formed. And they're very similar to the Milky Way galaxy that we live in and to the Whirlpool galaxy and to other galaxies in our local group. So uh, this is kind of upending what they thought about the Big Bang. Uh, Michio Kaku is one of the leading uh, astronomers and cosmologists. I don't agree with everything he says, just like I don't agree with everything everybody says. But he's he's really has some interesting material out there. And in this case, he uh, in one of the videos he shed some tears and he said they're they're uh, they've been lying to us for all these years. Everything in the textbooks has been wrong. Uh, my my way of looking at it is probably not that they were purposely lying to us. And he probably didn't mean that either. But the uh, theory of science, the Big Bang theory that they had, should have shown us that if you looked that far out into space, you would not see fully formed galaxies similar to ours. Is what you're finding. It's exactly what you're finding. is fully formed galaxies similar to the one we live in now. So uh, it's upending things. And there's some uh, theorists out there who are trying to come up with alternate ways of looking at it to keep the Big Bang. Uh, there were already a number of different theories being kicked around out there, multiple bangs, little bangs, 
uh, cosmic inflation, all kinds of things out there besides the Big Bang Theory already contesting it. Uh, but this is another one that's going to make it more difficult for some people to hold on to the Big Bang Theory. And in fact, we're finding uh, different things about space and time. And if, you, if things are as they seem from the James Webb Telescope, it could change a lot of the basics of astronomy and cosmology. So it's very unnerving to a lot of scientists who spent their whole lifetime career studying this uh, based on the Big Bang Theory. So I just wanted to let you know that was out there right now. You can look, find all kinds of YouTube videos on it. You can find all kinds of images, pictures online. You can look at what NASA had to show, the James Webb Telescope, and you can uh, just look and decide some things for yourself. But the experts are arguing about it now. And it's interesting that this is a, a complete new shocking development in cosmology and astronomy. Uh, this is Mr. Cox, Supercharged Air Cooled Science. I'll see you in another video. I may be using some of these. I will continue to actually show videos of things, but I, I may try to use some of these blackboards or whiteboards for a while to see how that goes as well. So thank you.